Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Goedemiddag, dames en heren. Molweni manene, nani manene kazi. Welcome to the 2024 autumn graduation season at Nelson Mandela University, starting here on our beautiful George campus. In today's two sessions, we will be celebrating the success of 370 students, but together we'll be saluting the achievements of more than 5,600 graduating students. Yes, this is reason to celebrate. Amongst today's recipients are two doctoral candidates, both from Nature Conservation, as well as the first cohort of graduates from the new Bachelor of Honors in Natural Resource Management Qualification that was introduced last year. Before we get the celebrations underway, please could we request the following. That the audience rise when the academic procession enters the hall and remain standing until after the moment of silence and again at the end of the ceremony after the national anthem and the academic procession leaves the venue. That you ensure that your cell phones are on silent for the duration of the ceremony, but please do X, but for some of us that are old, we call it tweeting. So please do tweet uh, X using the hashtag MandelaGrad24. And do tell your family and friends that the event is being streamed live on our YouTube channel that you do not leave the hall during the proceedings out of respect for all our graduates and their families who have worked very hard to achieve their qualifications. Should you need to use the restroom, may you request that you do not walk in front of the stage as it interferes with the photography. There are water coolers outside the venue to ensure that you don't go thirsty. And finally, we encourage celebration However, out of respect for each graduate, we ask that we allow the executive dean to read out the next name so that everyone can hear it. Finally, please note that in the event of load shedding, but we understand that we've been exempted for this week, uh, we do have a standby generator. Should it happen that we have load shedding, please remain seated as the generator will start within a few minutes. We trust that you will enjoy the ceremony and a hearty, hearty word of congratulations to each and every graduate on your special day.
Ladies and gentlemen, we request that you join us in a moment of silence. Please be seated. Thank you. Let's take a moment and familiarize ourselves with the emergency and health and safety protocols of this venue. Nelson Mandela University welcomes you to this gathering and takes your safety very seriously. In line with our university values and ethos, we wish to share the following safety protocols to be adhered to. We all know that incidents and emergencies do occur sometimes. We need to be extra prepared for the possibility. To do so, please familiarize yourself with the emergency exit points. In case of an emergency, an alarm, sound will, re an alarm will sound, but remain calm as this might be loud. Look at the green running man. Look at the green running man above the entrances or exits of the venue. Calmly walk to the emergency exit points. Please help those who need their assistance. Proceed to the assembly point outside and also inform your superior of any missing persons. Follow the instructions given by the emergency controller. Do not leave the emergency assembly point until all clear has been issued. Nelson Mandela University thanks you for your understanding and compliance with the emergency health and safety protocols. Siabulela, thank you, Baya Danki. By virtue of the power vested in me as Chancellor of the Nelson Mandela University, I hereby constitute this congregation for the purpose of awarding qualifications. Chair of Council in absentia, Ambassador Nozipo January Badal, Mr. Joe Samuels, members of Council present, year present, Acting Vice Chancellor uh, Professor Andre Kiet, Deputy Vice Chancellors and executive deans who are here with us today, our registrar, the principal of the George campus, Dr. Kaluke Mawila, the professoriate, and all members of the university senate, members of the academy and other university staff, the campus premier, and all members of the Student Representative Council, our partners and stakeholders, including the faith communities, organized business and labor, the postgraduate students who we are celebrating and upon whom we shall be awarding, uh, we shall be conferring degrees momentarily. Families, guardians and friends from near and far were sharing in the special celebration with us today. Good morning, Molweni, Huyamora. A warm welcome to this joyous occasion, which is a, must, a much anticipated annual highlight on our university calendar. Each year, we gather twice for autumn and summer graduation ceremonies to confer degrees, diplomas, and certificates on students across faculties and disciplines as the ultimate ceremonial confirmation of their completion of their chosen course of study at our much-loved Nelson Mandela University. 
I want to thank and congratulate the University Senate as well, as well as the local campus management, led by prin uh, Principal Dr. Kaluke Mawila for, for the completion of yet another successful academic year, sometimes under quite challenging circumstances. When we welcomed you here on these grounds a few years ago, we made a solemn promise to you that we would avail all the necessary resources in our power in ensuring that you succeed in your cho uh, chosen areas of uh, study. This graduation is testament of our honoring of that commitment to you. And I might add of your reciprocal honoring by applying yourself to your studies and succeeding. All studies require a joint effort and commitment. The only thing that I think all of us didn't really bargain with and I'd want to recognize that today, are these baboons sitting outside joining us in celebration. I think they also say this is a moment for them to shine in addition to you. You graduating from a university that has quite a significant nation and global history, heritage and repute. This legacy is wo woven into the, fa uh, the fabric of the Nelson Mandela Metropolitan University, NMMU, upon the merger in 2005, which as we know, was subsequently renamed Nelson Mandela University in July of 2017. This beautiful campus the George campus dates back to colonial times, and we sometimes forget that it is 112 years old, having been established as the Sarsfeld College for Forestry near Tokai in 1911. It distinguished itself as a center of excellence for professional foresters, and this reputation continues to flourish and grow, especially once the college became part of the former Port Elizabeth Technicon in 1986. I'm sharing this truncated history of the George campus so that you are able to appreciate your role as students in the ongoing and expanding societal transformation of our country. In the early years of Sarsfeld, until about 1986, the campus was a bastion of white male privilege. So no, no women were around here, and I think they would have gone into absolute shock if I was to address them as the chancellor at that point in history. A deliberate consequence of the politics of the day. Fast forward to 2024, and here we are, celebrating with splendor, color, and joy the triumph of the human spirit over adversity and exclusion. Today, we celebrate South Africa in its fullest diversity a diversity that is accommodated, a diversity, as I said, that's inclusive and celebrated by this wonderful university of ours. So, Member of Council, Mr. Samuels, Acting Vice-Chancellor, Professor Andre Kiet, and distinguished guests, we are proud that this George campus still remains as a destination of choice for those wishing to pursue their, uh, their academic studies here in the Southern Cape. The campus has a total enrollment 
of 2,450 students, most satisfyingly, a combined total of 372 graduates will have been capped at the conclusion of the second session of this autumn graduation on this campus today. I'm also aware that we have an inaugural cohort of students from the science faculty who will be receiving their Bachelor of Science Honours degree in Natural Resource Management today. I think we should give them a round of applause. <laughs> Though the program was only informally inaugurated last year, Today, we will have eight of those students coming on stage to be capped. A remarkable feat. To our graduates, and once you've been capped, Nelson Mandela, university graduates, the world we are releasing you into is beset with contradictions. It is a world of boundless opportunities, yet one that has become increasingly unequal. It is a world that is witnessing the ongoing rapid pace of technological and digital innovation, and yet so many are being left behind. It is, in a, it is a world in which there exists general consensus on the need to protect and promote fundamental human rights. Yet for many, those same rights are being denied and denied even deliberately. The world you are entering is a world that has broadly embraced multilateralism and the need to keep global peace, yet that same world is at war with itself. The Universal Declaration of Human Rights, the sanctity of international rule of law, sadly is under threat at present. There are also existential questions about liberal democracy and whether or not it is still the ideal system of government. But that's for a public lecture at a future point. As Nelson Mandela University graduates who have been educated and imbued with the ethos, spirit and freedoms embraced by our namesake, we wish to believe that we are fair-minded people who need to call out injustice where it exists, as was the, was the recent case in the Na International Court of Justice in The Hague, where our country sought relief for the people of Palestine, and one of our own was part of that team. This is the world we are releasing you into, it has now fallen on you to carve out niche, niche areas for yourself using the critical thinking, tools, ethos, and aptitudes that Nelson Mandela University has imparted to you throughout the entire period you have, spe you have spent at this institution. We are e also releasing you into a country that's at the crossroads, noting that this year marks the 30th anniversary of our constitutional democratic order, with the general election date set for May 29th. Just as our world is full of contradictions, so is our country. We've made remarkable gains since the advent of our democracy in 1994. And this uh, ceremony is testament to that fact. 
Since 1994, we've had children of school-going age enrolled in schools thanks to the pro-poor policies, including no-fee school policies and the National School Nutrition Program. It is noteworthy that South Africa was counted among a few countries that successfully attained the Millennium Development Goal of universal primary education as early as 2010. We have more learners exiting with a national senior certificate than ever has been the case before. Yet challenges abound, including lingering questions about the quality of their education. According to UNICEF, South Africa consistently ranks close to the bottom in international tests, such as trends in international mathematics and science studies, and progress in international literacy study. This country has done exceptionally well in expanding access to higher education since the advent of democracy back in 1994. This increased access came about as a result of a very deliberate policy, as a result of very deliberately policy choices of government, as set out in the Education White Paper 3. And one could talk about the National Plan of Higher Education in 2001 that enabled the consolidation of disparate entities into a single coordinated national system of higher education. And yet questions remain about the system's lackluster throughput rates and its suitability and efficacy for South Africa today. But as Nelson Mandela enjoined us, and I quote him, it is not beyond our power to create a world in which all children have access to a good education. Those who do not believe this have small imaginations, close quotes. And we know, and I want to quote him, that massive poverty and obscene inequality are such terrible scourges of our time. Times in which the world boasts breathtaking advances in science, technology, industry, and wealth accumulation, that they have to rank alongside slavery and apartheid as social ev evils, close quotes. And that's what he said to a crowd at London's Trafalgar Square in 2005 for the Make Poverty History campaign. Nelson Mandela University graduates, this is a South Africa that we are releasing you into it today. A South Africa with boundless possibilities, yet one beset with so many challenges. We believe that on your journey with us, we have equipped you with both the knowledge and experience which will enable you to both successfully navigate the challenges you will undoubtedly face, but also enable you to mark as individuals and successful and responsible members of society. The power of education extends beyond the development of skills we need for economic su success. It can contribute to nation building and reconciliation. And as President Nelson Mandela said, and I quote, a good head, and a good heart are always a formidable combination. But when you add to that a literate tongue or pen, 
then you have something special, close quotes. Go out and prove that you are an embodiment of that. Your success today has been well earned. But as a university and as students, we acknowledge the role played by those who supported us on this journey in so many ways. And so in the spirit of gratitude, I'd like to ask the students to stand. I want you to stand and face the community who journeyed with you and give them a round of support uh, applause, a round of applause. I'd like you to give them that round of applause. And that is in gratitude for the many sacrifices that you made in bringing them this far. On a more personal note, and you can sit down, on a more personal note, and I believe I speak on, our, on behalf of our university community. I'd like to thank our academic staff for their contribution to your success in completing your studies. And I'd like us all to give them a round of applause for that. This is what they work, strive, and live for, your success. And so for them, your graduation today signals that they too have played their role and are doing so successfully what is expected of them. So I'd like to say to the academic staff, take a figurative bow for this. To you all, to you all, on behalf of our university, our heartiest congratulations, and our, especially our graduates, our very best wishes go with you as you take your next steps into a new world, and a world that I, that we believe, you will shape. Congratulations once more. I thank you. In course, by a donkey. I request the Nelson Mandela University George Campus Choir to perform some choral items.
I think we should give our George Choir another special round of applause. They've really grown into becoming over the years, and I think it's something that we are all very proud of. We shall now, honest guests, proceed with the awarding of the qualifications, and I now requ uh, request the candidates to take up their positions. I request the Executive Dean of the Faculty of Engineering, the Built Environment and Technology, Professor Marshall Sheldon, to present candidates for the respective qualifications. Madam Chancellor, the Faculty of Engineering, the Built Environment and Technology only offers a higher certificate program on the George campus. I request you to award the higher certificate to the candidates who have completed their respective qualifications during the past academic year, whereafter I shall present to you the candidates receiving their qualifications in presentia. I award the highest certificate as requested. Madam Chancellor, candidates for the highest certificate in information technology in user support services. Mbalentle Lamini. Athanati Nuntululu. Mosa Mofuking. Nkedu Rabedi. Madam Chancellor, this concludes the awarding of qualifications in the Faculty of Engineering, the Built Environment and Technology for the George Campus. I request the Acting Executive Dean of the Faculty of Science, Professor Zenikole Chentu, to present candidates for the respective qualifications. Madam Chancellor, I request you to award the highest certificates and diplomas 
and confer bachelor's degrees on the candidates who have completed their respective qualifications during the past academic year, whereafter I shall present to you the candidates receiving their qualifications in Prisentia. I award the highest certificates and diplomas and confer the bachelor's degrees as requested. Madam Chancellor, candidates for higher certificates in felt fire management. Akole Mbulelo. Congratulations. Don't open me. Siabonga Mukwen. Madam Chancellor, candidates for the Diploma in Agricultural Management, Matthew Brooksman. Nakiwe Lova. Velma De Brain. Sineli Zui Gagi Pela. Don't force me. Come back, come back, come back. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> it's the exuberant. Ndivuile <laughs> Kalada. Zipo Koloani. Sibabalo Mazav. Luandiso Mbuma. Keegan McDonald. Congratulations, Keegan. Okay. Zipos and Gosim Jamban. Sive Mlaza. Anton Motaung. 
Don't pass me, Anton. <laughs> Congratulations, Anton. Yes. Sitabi Songosi. Congratulations. Sibabalo Papu. Emile Kaweshe. Congratulations. Ndokozo Kulu. Zwane <laughs> Madam Chancellor, candidates for the diploma in forestry. Rebecca Corsa. <laughs> Tristan Deswart. <laughs> Benele Lamini. Londeka Jamin Omega Fandaliki Liabona Kana. Cornela P. Langa. Akoliwe Leleni. Mohadi Manaso. Minente Marty <laughs> Celindy Le Madonzela. Mangoba Maseko <laughs> Mishali Mshabin <laughs> 
Crescentia Mohoba. Fusumzi Nene. Nopolo Nobo. Simpiwe Nkosi. Shobisi Lengosi. Avuile Nyamembi. Tapelo Ramotsamai. Sipiwe Shange. Onele Sobeche. Kosi Sebenzile Tsabeze. Madam Chancellor, the diploma is awarded cum laude to the following candidates. Batande Bonke Kumalo Cum Laude Nomalungelo Magagula Cum Laude Patience Mangwenyane Cum Laude Madam Chancellor, candidates for the Diploma in Game Ranch Management. Luvuyo <laughs> Tekeda. Madam Chancellor, candidates for the Diploma in Nature Conservation. Nokuzola Khoko. Yanelisa Panya. Lindy Wem Tetwa <laughs> Maggie Mathoa.
Ayab Mohammed. Kelis Mgidi. Setu Mzuli. Katleho Haswan. Siabonga Koza. Yakutovich. Will Todd Yakutovich. Ali Siabonga Jamini Shaisani Jaja Ntangano Baloi Denver Bradley Wanis. Annelisa Sitatu. Jan Fenter. Jesse Fenter. <laughs> Madam Chancellor, the diploma is awarded cum laude to the following candidates. <laughs> Dioni Ferreira cum laude. Anna loves uh, cum laude. They're coming now. Late. Madam Chancellor, candidates for the diploma in wood technology. Leah Mfing. <laughs> Awardwa Moyo.
Madam Chancellor, candidates for the diploma in forestry again. Mendy Mdolo. Madam Chancellor, candidates for advanced diploma in agricultural management. Zikona Badi. <laughs> Mzingisi Lokwen. <laughs> Tuto Lenza. Zimi Lubambo. <laughs> Madam Chancellor, the diploma is awarded cum laude to the following candidate. Sinalo Genu, cum laude. Forest. Madam Chancellor, candidates for advanced diploma in forestry. Anele Bakajan. Tulani Biela. <laughs> Veronica Bocheds. <laughs> Piliso Jokwini. Nomajola Fente Mate. Asanda Gaga. Jajambo Gazi Kuela. Bawinile Mavuso Zimvo Mbuyelin Lola Mam Kize Minente Nongobani Ente Saba.
Pepe Sondan. Wandile Zungu. Madam Chancellor, candidates for the Advanced Diploma in Nature Conservation, Elisha Joko. <laughs> Zukanye Machochan. Julia Morris. <laughs> Aluani Ramaru. Madam Chancellor, candidates for the Advanced Diploma in Wood Technology. Ludwig Krunewald. <laughs> Madam Chancellor, candidates for the Bachelor of Science Honours in Natural Resources Management. <laughs> Bernard Bezele from Cameroon. Tabo Kumede. Mduduzi Koza. Lelona Temba Ndalin. Zwibuya Chito Shitonga. <laughs> Graham van Bergen. <laughs> Nicholas van Rooyen. Henny Zita. <laughs> Tembingosi Zulu. Madam Chancellor, the degree is conferred cum laude to the following candidates. Aveli Leitrishe cum laude.
Caleb Clark Cum Laude. Mana Visahi Cum Laude. Madam Chancellor, this concludes the awarding of higher certificates and diplomas and conferring of bachelor's degrees in the Faculty of Science on George campus. Madam Chancellor, I now have the privilege to present to you a candidate for the doctoral degree in the Faculty of Science. I request Professor Jan Fente and the candidate Werner Conradi to come forward, please. <laughs> Madam Chancellor, I request Professor Fente, the supervisor of the candidate, to present him to the congregation. Madam Chancellor, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to present Werner Kuradi to the congregation with his thesis entitled Herbert the Fornal Diversity and Affiliations of the Okavango River Basin with specific focus on Angolan headwaters. This study aimed to document and quantify the herpetofaunal diversity and endemism of southern Africa, Aksat, southeastern Angola, one of the most poorly known regions in Africa. During the project, more than 2,000 records were documented, including 15 species never before recorded from Angola, as well as the description of eight new species. Um, numerous undescribed species were identified, long-standing taxonomic issues were resolved and various taxonomic adjustments were em emphasized. Heightened endemism was found mainly concentrated around the um, headwaters of the Okavango River Basin, thus highlighting a higher conservation importance. This thesis contributed greatly to the growing knowledge of a ne this neglected region of Africa. Madam Chancellor, I request you to confer the degree of Doctor of Philosophy, Nature Conservation on Werner Conradi. I confer the degree of Doctor of Philosophy, Nature Conservation on Dr. Werner Conradi. I request Dr. Mudanyi Ramanzwana and candidate Nokolo Nogwetemba Zovu to come forward, please.
Madam Chancellor, I request Dr. Raman Swana, a senior lecturer in the Department of Forestry who is a study leader, to present her to the congregation on behalf of the supervisors. Madam Chancellor, ladies and gentlemen, I present Nokolo Nokwetemba Njov to the congregation with their thesis entitled Towards Understanding the Soil and Water Fate of Pesticides Used Operationally in South African Forest Plantations. The study investigated the environmental fate and potential risk posed by the South African forestry industry pesticide use to human health and non-target soil and aquatic organisms. The results from this work are encouraging as they showed that apart from two pesticides, all other pesticides applied and investigated when used according to the product label recommendations and standard operating procedures pose a low risk to human health and non-target soil and aqu aquatic organisms. This work will help to ensure that the forestry industry continues to protect environmental values and communities living adjacent to and or affected by forestry operations, such as downstream water users. Madam Chancellor, I request you to confer the degree of Doctor of Philosophy, Nature Conservation on Nokolo Nogwetemba Dlovi. I confer the degree of Doctor of Philosophy, Nature Conservation on Nokolo Nokwetemba Dlovi. Congratulations, Madam Chancellor, this concludes the awarding of qualifications in the Faculty of Science on George campus. As we draw this graduation to its close, on behalf of the congregation, I wish to thank graduates, parents, and other guests for their interest in the university, and for their presence at this graduation ceremony. I would also wish to thank our academic and administrative staff, as well as the performers for their respective contributions. Once again, I congratulate you, our graduates, on your achievement. You have made us all proud. 
I wish all our graduates well as your journey forth to wherever the next phase of your life path takes you. I trust you will retain an identity that clearly defines you as a graduate of the Nelson Mandela University. Now, there's a small ceremony I like to get the graduates involved in, but one of our doctors have just walked to the back, and uh, it wasn't due to a human rights break. I think it was just for a photograph, as far as I know. So we probably need to give her half a second to come back. Or if someone at the back can just request that she does that afterwards. You see, this is where I regret that I don't have a singing voice. <laughs> and if I dare to sing, you may all break out in tears here. Yeah. <laughs> and not out of the beauty of the melody, but rather the, the, just my lack of ability in that area. Um, but I can promise you I do slightly better in singing than I do in dancing, so I'm also <laughs> not going to belabor you with that one. <laughs> I, I think this is just for the purpose of inclusion. I know many of you may be wishing to get this done with in order to continue the other celebrations, but I think it's just appropriate. And there she is back. So this is a, the point when I'd like all the graduates to stand. And I'd again want you to take a bow as you thank your larger community now as graduates. And I think this is where you give them an even bigger applause at this point. I would then want to call on those who have the courage to do it, to toss your hats up and catch it. <laughs> Just toss it up, all of you together. All at a going, one, two, three, there you go. By virtue of the powers vested in me as Chancellor of the University, I now declare this congregation dissolved. I request the congregation to stand for the singing of the national anthem and to remain standing while the academic procession leaves the hall. <laughs> 